Huh? Who said that? Yeah, you're slowing on the voting time. We know who it is. It's all nothing more but wrong. <laughs> Luigi? Yeah, you heard me. There's no way so that Callie is the killer. I mean, Luigi, if you want to make a claim like that, you're gonna need some proof. Y yes, I may not have the proof myself, but I think my brother does. You know it, right? That's it. I know what you're talking about. The reason why Tally is no was missing, right? Uh, yeah, we didn't mean we brought it up though, but Tally and I know about it. Right? Can you clarify it? Y yes, I can. It, my notes was ultimately not there aside from three pink paper pieces. The same kind of paper that Luigi had. And we know that Luigi's note was pink, but is there any other way that we can prove that the other papers were pink? Whisper does have that point. Mm -hmm. Aside from the times which we each and never I had to declare to them about the, the color of the notes! Wait, the color of the paper? Why is that a factor? Because my color of the note was pinkish. And Callie's was too. Small bits of paper were, were pink. Yeah, but what if in case that they were different colors to throw us off? I mean, wouldn't that waste them more time getting the notes for them? Phil, th there's no way at all that, that the color was pink. No, that's wrong! We can prove that all the notes were pink. Because with Luigi's note as well, but as well as Saucer's. So, Saucer's note was pink? I looked it and found that the pink paper sticking out, which is none more than Saucer's. And Latercia confirmed that she had small bits of pink paper in her pockets. That further proved that all the notes were pink. In case we're looking at it, that means they could still fit into the aesthetic. Citron, can you scan over and confirm it? Yeah, I can. Uh, my scanners are done anyway. Let's do this. As like, like he did before, Citron walked it over to Cali and scanned it over her for any traces of anesthetic, and we got our results. Y yup, she indeed has the other pieces of anesthetic, and, and it confirms it. Luigi's was 0 0.9, while Saucer's was, was half. She has the other your amount of anesthetic. Well, hold on a sec. I'm not mostly buying it. Can you identify the way on how it was injected, Citron? Yes. It looked like it was more like forced it into her than anything. Oh. Well, that just straight up confirms my theory. It totally does. Wh what do you mean by theory, though? Is that Kali injected herself with it? After the crime, she had no way to force it into her, so she had to, like, get it at an angle that it seemed to be forced. What is up with you keep on accusing us? Um, I hate to break it, but that does seem kind of right. In case the autopsy doesn't lie, then that means indistinguishable proof. Oh, I honestly just disagree with that statement. What if in cases she struggled? Go by the culprit. No, I honestly think it seems a bit too obvious. Yup. In case of worse looking at it, it appears our opinions are split down the middle again. Wait, hold on a sec. <laughs> and I'm being suspected as the culprit, but is he seriously gonna do this like every time? You know what? My music compels you. My music compels you. My music fucking compels you. You know, shut it. You miss talk show host. Anyway, it's now time once again for the great scrum to break trial ground. Are you kidding me? We gotta go through that again? I mean, does that basically mean that Callie is the culprit or is not by everything that we are saying? I guess now we have to do it again and find out. <laughs>
in the syringe the way to make it feel like like it was forced? Whisper! If you look at the others, there's ways on how they were stuck in. Callie definitely didn't like that she would have fought back. Still, that leaves a question. Did, did the others expect it? Did it and tried to struggle against it? Luigi! Well, yes, it would definitely seem to be that way, but but I was not expecting it. And same with Sasa. In case she would have, she would have sensed it. See, because she's different from us. Callie is the only one here with a super suspicious alibi. And and she wasn't awake to trigger the body discovery announcement if she was innocent. Callie! Still, Luigi and I are the only alibis we went over. Why are you accusing us? You guys haven't even... Had a way to prove you guys have good alibi. Callie placed herself next to Salsa in order to make it seem like that she was innocent. I got this! Case would would if it would have let the intention of the culprit put it in, in a way that it did to frame Callie as well. It could have taken the fact that we were all knocked out as well to forge an alibi. Since Yes, true. But face it, with that amount of anesthetic, in case she injected her, the moment after she committed the murder, she would have woken up a bit too late, so there's no way that that can be considered their evitable proof. Callie and Luigi are our only suspects. We don't have much other things to prove. Snivy! Oh, here's the thing. We've gone over anyone being a culprit besides Luigi and Callie. We've only suspected them and not any of us. Listen, you guys, there's no way that Callie had all the culprit. It was clear by looking at it that culprit got rid of more evidence in order to frame her. So, if you look at it, she was was more the, the same innocent line as Luigi. Th thank you, Nico. I I appreciate it. Aw, well, that's kind of sad now. What? What do you mean by sad? Because we have to suspect everyone besides you or Callie as the culprit. And after all, all of us have alibis. I'm thinking that us suspecting each other isn't gonna mainly gonna help us. We're just constantly going back and forth. And this is kind of what's something I had on my mind. What if in case if we can identify something? Like the cause of death for Saucer. The cause of death? Why is that coming back into the question? I thought we mainly just trusted it. Yeah, by the amount of blood that was in there, I can clearly tell that the thing was blood loss. Uh, if I'm looking at it, there's no way that blood loss can be considered a thing. It just seems not that much blood in order to cause it. Yup, that basically means now we have to narrow down any bit of evidence that may make the cause of death a real thing. Was there any other blood aside from the blood in the cabin? That's the thing that, that I'm sure people are wondering. And what is the true cause of death? These questions I may have to answer! Okay, I'm now kinda stumped. What is the real cause of death? There's a ton of things to consider. The blood in the cabinet is one. That's it, right? So... Is that basically it though? We can't really find out what truly killed Saucer? Is there really no blood anywhere aside from the cabin? No! That's wrong! In fact, Zelda, there is another place where there was blood. And it was in the sink! The- Oh yeah, the sink! I remember! I was investigating the sink earlier and no more that blood in it! I'm also looking at it. I'm guessing that is where the, the, the saucer bleeds out. And I'm guessing with that, Nico, you're able to determine the cause of death? Determine the cause of death. Alright. I got it! It's all coming together! I think I might have figured out the reason. The cause of death 
is drowning. Dr dr drowning? Really? That seems to be the cause of death? Yep, it definitely seems to be. It adds up with all the bits of evidence that we had. It, it definitely makes sense why there was blood in the sink. And there's also another piece of evidence that connects it. You're borderline allergic to logic. What? M Mins, what are you doing? I had to step in because you're acting like a bleeding idiot. What, what do you mean I'm acting like an idiot? The evidence adds- Are you going on again? Face it. There's no way that the thing is. He's a plant for goodness sake. And I'm going to prove it to you. Just quit acting stupid. Across the entire thing, we have never mentioned the a concept of drowning. Sure, you may say that there's evidence to not make it true, but there's no way that the cause of death is drowning. And listen to me. I can prove that the cause of death is drowning. And in fact, it is what this piece of evidence at all does show. There is no piece of evidence this year at all. None of it does. Because it isn't true. You don't have much of existing proof that the cause of death is drowning. In fact, I do means, and it is this that proves it. Oh, how dare you! Allow me to cut through those this words! This basically is false means on what you're saying. And it's due to the water that was featured in the sink. So, then that means that he was filled it up with water? That doesn't make sense, right? Saucer is a plot. Wouldn't he be filled up with water make him a bit stronger? Plum, you're the person who knows much about the plant's anatomy, so can you explain about it? Yes, I can about water storage. Basically, since I'm around Sphere, we can probably work ourselves in there. With the Sphere, we have an amount of water that we can store in to make us full. But enough that under for us can cause a lot more in case of it is applied to the mouth. Can cause a bit of drink. the same effects as someone drowning. So, in case we're looking at that, that means the culprit didn't have to worry about getting the blood off. It would have just simply washed off, washed off by the water. Wait a sec. Uh, I remember something now. I think it may have to do with this, to what happened. Do then then tell us, Monique. Uh, yeah. I think it happened when the chloroform bomb went off. I may not remember that much due to my foggy memory, but I saw someone bolting from the door. So we are looking at it, and that means the person who bolted from the door might have been the culprit. But if we do think about it, then that means anyone here could not have set it up this, the time in order to inject us with the syringe. As we know, you know, all of us went down during the time that you guys were busy at the hangout area. Is there a way I can identify if I the people who are considered suspects. Which evidence proves it? Th I can prove it with this! Guys, I think I have an idea on how we can narrow down the list of suspects. Well, you know about it? Then who does know? It is in the person who made a checklist of everyone arriving to the party. Zelda! Well, the I didn't mainly know, but can you confirm? You organized did the list of people? Oh, yes, I did. Not including in Luigi, Kali, Citron, and I, the list of people in order are are Taranza, Sally, Knuckles, Snivy, Miniko, Sans, Mimikyu, Whisper, Fur, then Mittens. Sans, Mimikyu, Whisper, and Mittens were the ones who were late. You guys now basically know. The person who might be responsible for this is... They, they're the ones! I now believe the people that are the culprit are Sans, Mimikyu, Whisper, and Mitt. The people that were late? Makes sense. No, oh, I'm not being suspected again. Ugh. <sighs> Hold on a second. Maybe this a way I can also identify the, the strength of the culture. What? 
What does that even mean, though? Hey, Nico, do you know something that was, well, on Sausage's body, or under his body, that you may know of that may lead to that thought? A piece of evidence this is where the was under Saucer. How was it? That's it! Thanks. Are you referring to the blood that's under Saucer? Yup. That is correct, though. I'm yet to the belief now knowing that the, that the culprit struggled to put, you know, saucer into the cabinet, which may explain the amount of blood underneath him, which now basically means to the thought that they had to use both their hands in order to lift him in. Whoa. You're able to know that just by the, the amount of blood underneath? I mean, I may be right up here. I, you can use that as a starting point. Alrighty. Uh, can I ask something, Citron? Are you similar in weight to Saucer? Yeah. Me and her are perfectly rounded spheres. With a few things. I have leaves underneath me, and she has that, that little, little fruit around her. So yeah, I can easily carry and confirm that her and I were the same. Mimic Q, Whisper, Mittens, all of you get behind me as we lift Citron up. With one hand, alrighty? As soon as Sans said that, they all walked it over and lifted up Citron. Sans showed one hand result. Then Mimikyu only showed his one shadow hand that he had. Whisper had one hand, and Mittens had one hand. We were now stumped from that. Wait a second. Back. It's all the same? I thought we were able to figure it out. Hold on a second. I honestly think we are on the right track. But I feel like like we're missing a piece of evidence, right? Piece of evidence. Piece of guys. I think they know the piece of evidence that we are missing. Well, you know, do you know what it is? Perhaps this can actually help us. Okay. I think the piece of evidence out of the truth bolts I have is. I can prove it with this. The second piece of evidence seems to be from Citron's autopsy. During it, he mentioned a second thing, that Saucer grew in weight. The second piece of information in the autopsy is, is Saucer's unexpected weight growth. As, as well connected to the plant anatomy I talked about, the water also makes it grow in weight. So, it can work. With that, we can perform the same weighting that we did earlier. Alright, Mono Mouser, can you fill up Citron with enough water to make it can fit his round sphere body? Alright, then, in case we make the trial faster. And here's the thing, I get bored, so you may want to make this quicker. Or get to the Copa quicker. So, I'm sure I'll give you your water. Here you go. As soon as he said that, he dumped Citron with an amount of water that, that, that seemed to fill him up. And now with it, we're all preparing to do this again. Okay. Let's do this, then. All of you, line up. Let's do this. First, Sans lifted Citron up, and he did it with one hand. And Mickey did. Uh, yeah, this definitely seems to be working. So, does that mean me and Sans are in this? And then Whisper walked it over and lifted him up. He seemed to float a bit, but he was still lifting him up with one hand with barely the amount of struggle. Alright, then. I guess at least one person lifted him. In case that, that means you can lift him up, then that means we'll be able to... Everyone here may be proven innocent. I still cannot believe you're all following with a stupid idea after all. What if his name was not with the water though? His name wasn't that one as well explained the water in the sink along with the blood. The only, only way that he could have struggled to lift him into the cabinet in case if he was filled with water. So, so here's the thing. Mint, you are really innocent like the rest of them. Can you as well prove it yourself? Do what they did. You seem to be very against this, after all. Are you something up? That no, 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 there's not. Go on. It's pretty easy, you know. Try. Shut up with your sass. As soon as Mint walked over to Citron, it seemed it a bit too unbelievable. Uh, oh, 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 Wait, did you just struggle to look? You bastard! Uh, okay, 
Okay, fine. I can struggle to lift up a, 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 a filled it up mutated plot. But that doesn't as well prove damn near anything. This is straight up confirmed. The pillar is... It has to be you. It really was you. Mittens! You dumb bitch! How dare you think it's me? I have not even dared touch in that saucer in a long time! Now that just sounds wrong, but... Still, isn't him just struggling to lift up an orange, like... That's filled it with water enough to conclude that Min Soul's guilty? He's right after all! I mean... There's no other Pugama against me! There's no way to ruin it all! No, 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 no! I think I really have to prove it to And the rest! With this piece of evidence! You bastards! I'm not the killer! So, is there any way you can prove it? You were the last person to arrive. No, the more of a speculation. I only came for the music. I mean, I'm thinking about it, but still, is that enough to proof? I'm not the mobile false. I'm not the mobile false. In case if there's any proof, there's none at all. There's no proof that exists that I was the culprit. No, that's Mins. wrong. There is proof. And it is none more than the than the marks near the vent. Marks near the. Okay, what is up with this trial and its strange urge to make me say Among Us? Yeah, those things near the vent. That why are they coming into the question? I'm now yet to the belief that that those marks seem to be claw marks from Mins himself. To the to the identified wounds. They looked at like seemed to be the perfect amount to seem like claw marks in were implanted into it. Just shut up! You all just shut up! Hold on a sec, this may as well play into my memory. When I was almost knocked out, I saw someone leaving for the door. They were all they seemed to be mostly white with, with hints of yellow. It was mitten! What's in your real thoughts, all of you, is to paint me as the killer? Because even for fiendal minded fuck asses like all of you here, you all cannot be damn mistaken! Uh, Mins, what's up with you? You know why I'm acting like this? Because you're all as fucking shit dumb asses as that I've ever seen in my damn fucking life! You all are blaming me for no other reasons at all! Nothing but damn freaking speculation! Oh, Min, you're the one that fits most of the evidence. Even stuff that, that we didn't even look at at first connects to- Because your logic is damn freaking flawed! I was simply running away just to get away from it, because I knew a damn fucking murder was going to happen. You all are nothing more but shitty people who I never really expected to see in my life. <laughs> damn it! Luigi and Kali are the fucking murderers! Hey then, then let's say it's wrong. Then explain on how you're the one who snatched the core from Bob. How did you went to the vent? And did you set the time? Shut the fuck up, Nico! You know nothing at all! So that event doesn't connect to any damn thing that has happened, you hear me? Fucking nothing! Hey, okay, but the thing that proves it is that your breakdown is further proven every time. It's not! It's not! Do you hear me? Man, you were the one who tried to frame the Luigi and Cali. You sent those notes. You were the one who placed the chloroform. It was you who killed Sauce. I did not frame them. I did not not place that bomb. And I sure as hell did not kill fucking Sauce. Prove on how I was able to come back then. Huh? Then how on earth was I able to come back perfectly? How was I able to time my arrival? Now, I know my talent is the ultimate servant. Am I easy to memorize time? Then, huh? Tell me on how it is. Fucking tell me! <laughs> then you say it's true at all. It's all false. All of them all but speculation. No proof that you are saying. The real proof is in front of you. Luigi and Carly. What is the real thing? It's all nothing more but BS, you dumb asshole. It's nothing more but speculation. How dare you think to accuse me? I am not the killer at all. God damn. Uh, me, perhaps. The culprit should have killed you instead because of BS like this. 
You're nothing more but a fucking accuser. You're the people who, who frame others. You're the one who accused the accomplice. You tried to, to help the culprits. All right, see, I'm going to be more calm with you on this. You're just trying to get us all killed. Just stop blaming me and actually blame the people who are damn suspects. You just take their innocent souls. Evidence contradicts it. They're trying to make themselves seem innocent and make me fucking guilty. Fuck. God. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Everything is nothing more but, but your own damn speculation stuff. I did not set up the bomb! How on earth was I able to reach the bed? There was no way I could have reached it! I get out of it, huh? Well, what's I get out being the culprit? How? What would I get? What would I get? You asshole, you asshole, you asshole, you asshole, you asshole, you asshole. Cowley son of a bitch, trying to make the real culprits look free. You're another accomplice, aren't you? Trying to help them. Just hurry up and blame your damn brother. Just shut up and grow up here! And you say he's nothing more but BS. Nothing more but fucking speculation! Everything! 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 God! Uh. <sighs> you fool! If I am the culprit, and if I was able to perfectly time my arrival and wake everyone up, then show me the proof! It ends here, mittens. How? How? How fucking dare you? What about a freaking alarm clock fucking, you dumbass? Well, I think it should be pretty simple. On Citron's chloroform bomb, there is two functions. The one that activates the chloroform and an alarm clock function. I, I think that may as well prove it in the coffin that you've done this. So, just by what you're saying, if we can bring that bomb here, then that means we can, you know, finally end this Bowser. You said you could do anything, right? Can you bring that bomb to the trial room so we can take a look at it? I mean, I dumped it in with water, though, so sure, why not? <laughs> well, Bowser stumped at his foot. He put the chloroform bomb down as I walked over to it and, and moved it the time to five minutes. One minute passes. Two minutes pass, three minutes pass, four minutes pass, and then at the last moment. There it is, that is that annoying sound again. So, he really set it up? It definitely seems to be. Now with that thing that we all heard, it just straight up confirms it. He set it up that ball. You. You are gonna pay for this! He definitely now shows himself to be guilty now. I guess that this is the, my only chance now. <sighs> Everyone, here's everything that happened in this case! I believe that this whole thing began approximately a day ago, where he was beginning to make some serious preparations for everything. First, he, he got three notes to give to every to the three prime suspects Cali, Luigi, and the victim Saucy. The culprit did it in almost the exact same way he did with Cuphead and slid the note under the door. Each three in each one. In the time of the morning I'm yet to believe that the three people who received it looked at and lo and behold they did. The note specifically said to them Dear the person who received it Do not come to the hangout area Otherwise, you'll be next. Come to the garage at a certain time or else buy the next. Not now, all to the belief that these three talked it out about every, the notes that they received. And which means that Saucer and Callie had to call it off and let Zelda and Citron take over for the hangout area. Which Luigi refused to, to go to as well in order to help. It's to the belief, but not only that, the culprit also stole one of Citron's bombs, the chloroform bomb, in order to get this plan to work. Time he opened it up the vent and prepared to enter with the bomb. He used his norm, his retractable claws, in order to enter through smoothly, in order to to make his way. I believe he set it up. He got it out and placed it the vent back on in order to make sure sure that no one knew anything. And here's the uh, last thing that they prepared for. They reached it into the medical cap and then pulled out a syringe of one to five anesthetic solution and was preparing to go to the garage to begin their crime. And when this was happening, I included most of the people, well, 
were beginning to enter the hangout area. An aesthetic in tow, the culprit all he had to do was wait for each of them to arrive. One every hour. And during this time, Saucer was the first one to enter with Ike's own pee handbook, which we thought that he entered with his, but it turns out he was a she this whole time. Time, Saucer was waiting to go see the person. But then he attacked and lunged the syringe into Saucer, injected him with half of the anesthetic solution. And with that, Saucer was dealt with. When, when he finished it, he searched over her body and found it in Ike's e-handbook, meaning that he knew ahead of time that he was a she and took her note and hid it. Yeah, well, they did. They hid it in a place where no one would normally check. Now with the same belief that Callie entered the exact same way, but instead using Cuphead's e handbook to enter to it due to the lock restraint still. No one holds still. We, she was waiting. Due to her advanced good senses, he spotted. She was basically forced to struggle in order to escape, but inject did most of it in. And she was done. But during this time, she took out her note and ripped it up with her claws, only even three small pieces of it in her pocket, and only had to wait for one more person. That person was none more than Luigi, who was still the most, most worried out of most of them, and only entered with his own hand. We get to the belief that he mainly sneak attacked on Luigi, and finally injected the last amount of anesthetic into him. With all three suspects, he began to go to the hangout area to forge an alibi. Left with small bits of evidence, mainly being a small amount of anesthetic and the syringe left behind. When he arrived, he acted like his arrogant, cocky, selfish, well, self, as all of us were looking at him angrily. But that is until... Chloroform bomb went off, making us almost all lose our... Time, Cobra was making a bolt to the door, but when Mimic used barely enough vision, he saw him leaving to the door. Closed up the door and, and was and only breathed a small amount of chloroform, not enough to knock him out, but he still had his job to do. The actual murder. With all of his victims in hand, he began to, to commit his crime. He placed the Luigi and Callie in a way that made them look suspicious. He commenced to do one thing in order to make Luigi he looked like he did. I believe he went over to the art box and grabbed a small piece of blue fabric from it. After he placed it, he now finally began his actual murder. Turning on the water in order for it, he grabbed its saucer and then put her in it, making her seem like that she was a drowning. She only had a small amount of water to store, so she was clearly struck. Wait a second. He implanted his claws into her, making it struggle, and then... All her strength is gone. He finally finished it off Saucer. He grabbed her one last time to put her into the cabinet. But something stopped him. It was the unexpected weight change, making him use both of his hands and struggling to put her into the cabinet. And he mainly closed it up and left it the scene immediately because time for him was running out. The piece of evidence that would ultimately counter him in the end was a blood pile which drifted from Saucer that he had no chance to clean up. With it, the culprit barely just made it in time and laid it down like the rest of us in order to forge the alibi that they were knocked out too. During the time that we were starting to wake up, Luigi woke up in the anesthetic. And then, I imagine he saw the blood pile. He got up to check it. And then, he approached the cabinet. Oh, Saucer's bleeding out body. And with this, it kind of made something important. Luigi was the first person to see the body, but out of his own paranoia and scream that he made, mainly caught off all our attention. It tends to make them look more innocent. They traveled with Knuckles and Snipe in order to make them feel like Callie or Luigi was the culprit. When we, Sally, and Sand walked in on the scene, he led us to the belief that those two triggered the body discovery announcement. There's only one person who could have been responsible for every bit of this. The person who tried to frame innocent people. The one who, who murdered an innocent person who wanted to keep a secret. I honestly do not know why. Why would they choose to do this to someone like them? But I don't know their motive. No. But it doesn't matter. You're the mastermind behind this whole trial. Mittens, the ultimate servant!
It's over. You lost. <laughs> I'm guessing you all are done with your votes? Well then, in all the drill, here's the console running into vote for the person who you think the killer is. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <laughs> Well done, you good for good kitties. You guys got it correct the second time in a row. It's yup, the killer by saucer, the ultimate UFO was Mix, the ultimate servant. Give yourselves a good pat on the back. <laughs> so, it really is true. You really did it. <laughs> of course I did. I guess now the cat's out of the bag, isn't it? You're just straight up admitting it? <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm honestly ready now. I have no more regrets. On a second, you bastard. We're not done yet. Huh? What do you mean? Why did you do this? Why are you making Citron feel a lot of pain? And why did you frame this? Why I choose the murder? Why not? Well, what do you mean, why not? Explain yourself. But it's simple. You all want to know why I committed murder? It's simple. I simply WANTED to commit murder. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> I put it simple. I just simply wanted to murder someone. I don't even understand what he's saying. Guys, I'm scared. Uh, I guess, aside from one thing. Nico, I guess you know. It's... It's your beliefs, isn't it? <laughs> I guess even a fucking dumbass like you is equally right. Indeed, my beliefs. To put it simply, it's my ideals. On what the darkness is the strongest. Then make that point. And the weak was the light. Two victims that are standing here dead. They were that the lightest of the light, making them the weakest of the weak. And don't even dare remind me of the first killer. You know, I admit, Sakuna fighting himself on me is good. Still, what a stupid reason for killing someone! You leave Ike's name out of it! I guess you wouldn't be talking then, huh? Yeah. My original plans were originally meant to kill you and frame Saucer and Cali. But after the amount of syringe I put in Saucer, I simply decided to murder her. And knowing that she was transgender, oh, it made me even happier that I killed her. The hell is up with you? You're selfish and homophobic? <laughs> sure, you all can appreciate the gayness and stuff, but face it, it makes you all weak. Faith, just accept the gender that you're meant to like. You're, you're something else, aren't you? <laughs> Why, yes, I am. Well, I had almost everything right, actually. I have everything to get out of here perfectly. I even had an excellent plan of framing the region Cali. But you... You fucking piece of shit. You are worth something else, aren't you? Well, oh, I guess one thing I have left. Huh? What? I suppose this is what I'm mentioning. What, what is that? It's a paper I simply found in Saucer's room. It had a ripped part of it. So Saucer was hiding this from us? Yup, and it appears someone has the other piece and I looked at it and... <laughs> oh, 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 the information about it. What are you talking about? Tell us! No, you're not gonna tell us, or me. Well, I guess someone knows me well. I guess I won't be able to share this information. Or at least none of you will see it. <laughs> as soon as Mittens wasted his paw, his, his claws came out, and then... <laughs> no! Sauce's nose! That easily gets torn up along with the information on it. Oh no! That means. Yup. That basically, with this newspaper, became very, 
very amount of information about the mastermind. But face it, what on earth does the mastermind even have to do with me anyway? I'm about to die. Do you think I would be sympathetic in order to share with you? But naturally, I don't. Not really. I hate each and every one of you here. Oh, damn it! I, I wish you could have found this. Oh, you two seem awfully persistent. You shouldn't be talking about this, you piece of shit! <laughs> Getting a lot defensive, are we? I was ultimately looking at this. I turned around and saw Citron. Saucer. Citron. His eyes ultimately looked like they were blackened with, with amounts of rage. The words that he spoke ultimately put me in a state of shock. Mono Bowser, do you have something to do to this piece of shit? Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely right. I guess now it's time for his punishment. Uh huh. What's wrong, Citron? Waiting to see me die? Get the hell away from me, you! Citron, I said get this guy the fuck away from me! Now then, I have prepared a very special punishment for making the ultimate servant! Now, let's give everything we've got! It's punishment time! <laughs> Oh, oh God, even though I was excited to see him die, I think I'm gonna be sick. Honestly, that bitch deserves it and more. Sick of this, all right? At least, you know, I killed to stop the mastermind, but he, he just murdered because he wanted to and mainly had his own beliefs in darkness. Talk about bullshit. Look, I'm still trying to understand. No, you don't. Look, it's still, it's not even Sauce's fault. We know she died for no reason. Yes. Just none of you talk to me. If you wanna I'll be, I'll just be in my room for the rest of the days. Only coming down to eat. Just don't talk to me. Throughout the entire day, because if because it was early morning during that time, most people either went to sleep or just didn't want to talk. Mittens really left it an impact on us. And it really is affecting us mentally and emotionally. It, I Luigi, what I talk, I'm legit worried about. Same with Callie. But I never really bumped it, I bumped it into someone that ultimately would give me the motivation to press forward. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go to bed to, hey, uh, Nico? Huh? There you are, wait, look out! Uh, uh, uh. Snivy, what do you want? Sorry, but can you come to my room for a bit? I wanna talk about something. Talk about something? It's about what happened, right? Yes. But there was something more. Can you come with me? Um, sure. Uh, Snivy. What did you want me to see? I called you in here as someone I can trust. And I want you to look at this. 
a sec. Is this the other piece that Min's ripped up? Yes, it is, in fact. I have n no idea what happened to the other piece after it was ripped up. But this, this contains information of who is the mastermind, or what is the mastermind. Turn it over. Uh, okay. As soon as I turned it over the paper, I saw something that would have given me a hope and... Ultimately, something that would have made things a bit distrusting. What? The ult m What? I have no idea what happened to the other piece either, but if I'm looking at this, someone is lying about their ultimate talent. And this, this contains it. What? Someone here is lying? Yep. It turns out one of us here is a false. So one of us here is the ultimate muck. The ultimate m what though? I'm unsure what happened to the other piece. But this. We may offer distrust to the other, but I finally know someone who I can trust. 